children good morning everyone is dr zain here can i have the slide please be oh, ready please. with your presentation imagine a world like this a scene like this and imagine seeing a world like this where 50% of the world is probably going to see the world this is myopia an inconvenient truth where along with the covid crisis for the last 2 years myopia has become a pandemic and along with that not just globally but even in india we are postulating a 50% uh, prevalence by the year 2050 now is there a solution to this yes there is hope on the horizon in the form of sunlight there are several studies that say that sunlight has a protective role for preventing the onset and progression of myopia now the difficulties that lay ahead are what are the protective factors is it the uv is it the sunlight is it the physical activity what is it and our question is the only way of accurate measurement of something that is as fluid as sunlight exposure and third how can we actively promote outdoor activity to the parent and child in a real and dynamic setting to answer all these questions we came up with a novel device called the lumino sun dial now this device is a wearable one which has an ambient light sensor on the top which can be worn on any part of the body with the right adapter now this is how the interface looks it's fairly fuss free it has an ambient light sensor on the top and a heart rate sensor on the bottom now what are the data that we can harvest from this the first off is the illuminance levels through the ambient light sensor the uv exposure the infrared exposure the physical activity using an accelerometer the heart rate ambient temperature and putting all of this together we are able to arrive at the overall outdoors time in minutes now how does it work the ambient light sensor collects the data from the sun and stores it on the device every minute one reading is taken so over an hour 60 readings are taken now this is now uh, synced to a mobile phone application now the mobile phone application interface looks like this and it gives an everyday day to day 24 hour graph of the sunlight exposure on a real time basis and of course there can be goals set based on the steps and the sunlight exposure that is required so the first step of this was to validate the device so we validated eight devices with a standard luxometer and when we plotted it on a correlation chart we found a correlation coefficient of 0.786 The next thing that we did was we put it across in four settings for seven days each. So for seven days we put it out in outdoor direct sunlight, seven days in outdoor shade, seven days in indoor near a window, and seven days near an artificial illumination. Now we plotted all those data on a 24-hour graph. So basically, a two to three reading is a mean of 3,360 values, and that's how we arrived at the graph. The mean for the visible light in the outdoor direct sunlight is 30,000 lux, and an indoor artificial light is 10.8. So it you can see the difference there is a statistically significant difference between the direct sunlight and shade and the natural illumination and the indoor artificial light the same goes for the ultraviolet light with the maximum seen in the outdoor direct with the minimum seen in the indoor artificial it goes for the ultraviolet infrared as well now what we did find was in previous studies 1000 lux was arbitrarily taken as outdoor but we saw that in outdoor shade there was sometimes less than 1000 and indoor natural illumination sometimes more than 1000 so in order to get more real, reliable data we put all of this into machine learning using the python software and we fed it as 60% training set and 40% testing set and we found that it was really reliable in terms of the data reading and we had an accuracy of 67% for our prototype Now we also went and tested it with 10 devices on children and we had a compliance of 83%. 80% gave excellent feedback. The average time spent outdoors was 1.2 hours in holidays and 38 minutes on the school days. So this device provides a reliable measurement of the sunlight exposure as a researcher it's a pivotal research tool that can help us to read about outdoors as a clinician it helps us to customize myopia control and as a parent and a child it gives us active feedback to promote outdoor time these are my references i have a lot of people to thank for this presentation this is a picture of me when i was a child this is a picture of my children today and i think somewhere we need to bridge the gap and i let's make sunlight our home thank you so much lovely lovely Thank presentation you. dr dinesh your yeah, comments please it's a, it's a, a nice one and a nice idea i just wanted uh, one question basically are, are we equating outdoor activity to sunlight exposure well that's what we want yeah. to find out sir so because uh, if if that is the question then uh, people in uh, equatorial region and north pole then the, there should be a difference in myopia or are we just uh, kind of one evolving of one of the factors 
Yes, yes. Yes. Sunlight uh, exposure has definitely sunlight as such is a factor that's been associated positively as a risk factor, but we still don't know which part of the spectrum, the UV, the infrared, or is it the physical activity? Is it the ambient temperature? So all these factors, I think this device would be able to give us more data on that. Maybe as we are doing more of near works and we are uh, evolving, so we are becoming more and more myopic. Uh, definitely. I think one of the natural the theory of evolution, isn't it? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful presentation. Yeah, Shruti, yeah, yeah definitely. So how different is this from the Singapore model? Uh, yes, sir. So the Singapore, actually, it went on parallelly. I was not aware of it. And then finally, when I developed the prototype, I realized while doing the literature search that there was a device. This one is an ambient light sensor, which and measures the entire spectrum. So UV, visible, and the infrared. I believe that device measures the lux value. Uh, so and this, I think, uh, I think that's pretty much the thing. And here we have uh, also uh, developed it using machine learning where we actually fed in the real-time data, so in order to define what real outdoor is. So, so I think, that's sir, the pulse rate thing. also, which is being measured, it's yeah. not only the sunlight, so the activity would probably increase the pulse rate, which would also be measured. Yeah, so the yeah. heart rate, physical, heart rate, the steps yeah. taken, all of exactly. this. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. What yes. is the cost? What is the cost of the device? Well, right now, it's in the prototype stage, so we are looking uh, at somewhere less than, like, 3,000, 4,000 is what we are looking at. Okay. Is prototype or is it like uh, it's available for commercial use? Uh, right now, it's not in commercial stages yet, sir. We are going ahead to scale it up a little bit, but right now it's in the prototype stage right now. This is, I have a few set of pieces which we are working on sure. right now. Yeah. Great 